Join us on this journey through the controversial pages of NFL history, where we'll revisit the what-ifs and could-have-beens that still haunt teams and fans to this day. In this video, we'll delve into the stories behind some of the most controversial calls in the NFL. Stick with us till the end of the video to relive the tension and drama surrounding these events, examining the chain of events that led to their violation. From questionable calls by referees to game-changing moments that altered the course of a match, these plays have become etched in number 10, 1998 Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day coin flip. The 1998 Thanksgiving Day game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and Detroit Lions provided a controversial and unforgettable moment during the pre-overtime coin toss. Jerome Bettis, the Steelers running back, called tails before the flip. However, referee Phil Luckett heard Bettis say heads tails, which led to confusion. The coin landed on tails, as fate would have it, but the Lions won the toss based on Luckett's interpretation. Detroit took possession of the ball in sudden death overtime and kicked a game-winning field goal, securing a 19-16 victory over the Steelers. The incident gained national attention due to the high-profile nature of the Thanksgiving Day game and the confusion surrounding the coin toss call. The controversial coin flip sparked discussions about the importance of precise communication during game-changing moments. This incident also led to changes in how referees handled coin tosses to avoid similar confusion in the future. Number 9. 1999 NFC Championship Game Next, 1999 NFC Championship Game between the St. Louis Rams and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers featured a highly contentious play that significantly impacted the outcome of the game. With less than a minute left in the game, the Buccaneers were trailing 11-6 and driving down the field for a potential game-winning touchdown. In the closing moments of the NFC Championship game between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the St. Louis Rams, controversy struck when Bert Emanuel, a Buccaneers receiver, made a 13-yard reception that seemed crucial for his team. However, upon review, the officials ruled that the nose of the ball had touched the ground during the catch, resulting in an incomplete pass. The decision left fans and analysts questioning the NFL's catch rules, ultimately leading to a rule change to clarify valid receptions. Number 8. Snowplow Game of 1982 Moving on to the Snowplow Game of December 12, 1982 between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins, it stands as one of the more comical yet controversial moments in NFL history. In a blizzard, with the score tied at 0-0 late in the game, Patriots coach Ron Meyer ordered a snowplow operator, Mark Henderson, who was on a work release program for a burglary conviction to clear a spot on the field for a field goal attempt. The Patriots successfully kicked the field goal and won 3-0, leaving the Dolphins and their coach Don Shula fuming over the ethics and fairness of the decision. Number 7. Hockey Lee Blows Play Dead in 2008 In a critical AFC West matchup between the Denver Broncos and the San Diego Chargers in 2008, referee Ed Hockey Lee made a controversial call that decided the game's outcome. With seconds left on the clock, the Broncos faced a second and one at the Chargers' one-yard line. Quarterback Jay Cutler dropped back to pass but fumbled the ball, and the Chargers recovered it. However, Hockey Lee ruled it an incomplete pass, preventing the Chargers from taking possession. The Broncos capitalized on the opportunity, scoring a touchdown and converting a two-point conversion to secure a 39-38 victory. Number 6. 2002 NFC Wildcard Game During the 2002 NFC Wildcard Game, the New York Giants squandered a 24-point lead against the San Francisco 49ers. The Giants had a chance to redeem themselves with a last-second field goal attempt, but a botched snap led to a chaotic final play. The officials called a penalty on the Giants for having an ineligible receiver, sparking controversy as it was later revealed that the player in question had reported as eligible before the play. The 49ers went on to win the game 39-38, leaving Giants fans frustrated with the controversial call. Number 5. The Holy Roller The Holy Roller is one of NFL history's most infamous and debated players quarterback Ken Stabler dropped back to pass but was about to be sacked. In a desperate attempt to keep the play alive, Stabler fumbled the ball forward Running back Pete Banizak batted the ball further ahead before tight end Dave Casper fell on it in the end zone for a touchdown. The play, known as the Holy Roller, raised questions about the legality of intentionally fumbling forward, as well as the player's actions during the chaotic sequence. Officials ruled it a touchdown, giving the Raiders a 21-20 victory. The Holy Roller remains a subject of controversy to this day. Kickoff return Lorenzo Neal received the kickoff and handed it off to Frank Wycheck who later passed the ball across the field to Kevin Dyson. Dyson then sprinted down the sideline for a game-winning 75-yard touchdown. Despite controversy over the legality of the lateral pass, the Titans' touchdown stood, and they advanced to the Super Bowl. Number 3. Golden Tate's Winning Hail Mary Play One of the most infamous and controversial plays in recent 
NFL history occurred on September 24, 2012, during a Monday night football matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Green Bay Packers. With just eight seconds left on the clock and the Seahawks trailing 12-7, they had one last chance to win the game. Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson dropped back to pass from the Packers' 24-yard line and launched a Hail Mary pass into the end zone. The ball MD Jennings appeared to have intercepted the pass, but as players fell to the ground, Seahawks wide receiver Golden Tate wrestled for possession. Amidst the tangle, one of the replacement referees signaled the touchdown, indicating that Tate had caught the ball. The other official initially signaled for an interception by Jennings. The call on the field was ruled a touchdown, and after a booth review, the ruling stood, much to the disbelief and frustration before Tate's hands were on it. However, the simultaneous catch rule came into play, stating that if there's a tie between offensive and defensive players possessing the ball, the offense benefits the doubt. This rule was heavily criticized and called into question after the game. The fail Mary, as it came to be known, added fuel to the calls for the return of the regular referees, which eventually happened after the referee's lockout was resolved. Number 2. The Tuck Rule The Tuck Rule, perhaps one of the most debated and controversial rules in NFL history, made its mark during the 2001 AFC Divisional Playoff game between the Oakland Raiders and the New England Patriots. The game was played in a snowy Foxborough, Massachusetts on January 19, 2002. In the closing minutes of the fourth quarter, the Patriots were trailing 13-10 and had the ball at their own 42-yard line. Quarterback Tom Brady dropped back to pass, and as he attempted to tuck the ball back into his body, he was hit by Raiders cornerback Charles Woodson. The ball came loose and was recovered by the Raiders, seemingly sealing their victory. However, the officials reviewed the play, and upon further examination, they ruled it an incomplete pass rather than a fumble. The reasoning behind this decision was that Brady's arm was moving forward when he lost possession of the ball, making it an incomplete pass according to the tuck rule. The ball was returned to the Patriots, who capitalized on the opportunity, tying the game with a field goal and eventually winning in overtime. Number 1. The Immaculate Reception Arguably the most famous and contentious play in NFL history, the Immaculate Reception occurred during an AFC de ball after another offensive player, the play was considered illegal. There was uncertainty about whether the ball had touched Tatum before Harris caught it. After the game, officials conferred, and amidst the chaos on the field, they ruled the play a touchdown. The call stood and the Steelers won the game, which many believe changed the fate of the franchise forever. These top 10 most controversial plays are etched into the NFL's storied history, reminding us of the game's excitement, unpredictability, and the passion it ignites among fans, players, and officials alike.